In this video, we will see how to generate the subtitle for the video using Python. Now, you don't have to rely on any A tool or third party to generate a subtitle. You can use Python to generate your own subtitle file. For this, we'll be using something called a faster whisper model to generate the subtitle for our video file. So I will provide the link of this Google Collab in the description. After you open the Google Collab, uh, click on the file to make a local copy in your Google Drive. So click on save your copy in Drive. This will create a local copy so you can edit it. So here we'll be using the faster whisper and the FFmpeg models to generate the subtitles. This is the notebook that we have uh, used. First of all, you will have to upload the video to this uh, Google Collab. For this, execute the first cell now and click on choose files. This will open your file dialog to select the file. In this case, I am going to choose this video. You can see that python.np4. So this is a two minute video. You can see that. So let me play this video to see what it's about. In this video, we will see how to use commands in Python. Commands is a piece of code that gets ignored by the interpreter or compiler. For example, we have a print statement here. Hello. So let me close that video and click on upload now. Uh, the file will now start. You can see that the file has been uploading. So just give you a few minutes. Uh, it takes some time to get uploaded. So I will continue after the file upload successfully. As you can see, the file has been uploaded successfully. If you refresh the uh, file contents now, you can see that we have the python.np4 file in our Google Collab. Now we have completed the first step. The second step is to install the necessary models. We will install the faster whisper and the ffmpeg. So click on this run icon to install these two models. As you can see, it starts downloading the two models. So it is recommended to use the Google Collab to work with the faster whisper because it uh, Need some computational process. Now we have completed the second step. Then we will import the necessary libraries. We will import the time and the math libraries. And we will also import the ffmpeg. And from the faster whisper, we will be importing the fast, uh, whisper model. Here then we will be defining the input video. Just give you a name of the video that you want to generate the subtitle for. In this case, our video name is the python.np4. And this line will just uh, replace the extension to get the actual video name. Then here, this function is used to extract the audio from the video. We need the audio so that the whisper model can uh, generate the subtitle. So to extract the audio, we'll be using the ffmpeg. So we'll be using the input and also the output method to generate the audio. So click on this run icon to generate the audio from the video. So before the run the above cells, that's why we got the uh, error. So let me run this cell first. Now run this cell so you don't get any error. As you can see, if you refresh the file now, you can see that your audio file has been generated successfully. This is the file that will be passed to the faster whisper to generate the subtitle. Here we'll be having a transcribe function. This will take a uh, audio as a parameter. Then we will define the fast whisper model. We'll be using something called the small. So there are three models available. Uh, small, large and medium. Uh, we will stick to the small uh, whisper model. Then we will call the uh, transcribe method to generate the subtitle. We will save that in here segments comma info. We will use the for loop to iterate to the subtitle file. We will get the segment the start and we will also get the end of the uh, subtitle line. Then we get the actual text. So run this button to generate the subtitle. This will take some time, so I will uh, pause this video and resume after the subtitle has been generated. You can see that uh, it takes lots of internet, so I, that's why I told you to use the Google Collab. As you can see, the subtitle has been generated successfully. You can see that uh, we have the subtitle for our two minute video. It recognizes the audio correctly. Now we have generated the subtitle. We need to write this TF file so, so that we can use this to our video. To generate a subtitle file, we will be using the generate subtitle file function. This function takes two parameters, language and segments from the previous function. 
the name of the subtitle is subtitle dot SRT. So let me change this to something else. So this will be Python commands. We'll be using a for loop to write to the file. After that, we will use the F open function to open the subtitle file. Then we will use the write. Before running the above cell, run this cell. This function is used to generate the start time and end time of the subtitle. After you run this uh, function, run the generate subtitle file. You can see that this cell has been executed successfully. If you refresh the file now, we get a new subtitle file. So click on the three icon and click on download. The file will be downloaded in your browser. So let me save this file in the desktop. So let me open the video to actually use the subtitle so you can see how accurate the subtitle was. So let me play the video. To add the subtitle, click on subtitle and click on add a subtitle file. Select the subtitle file that we have generated. So click on open. To see how to use commands in Python. Commands is a piece of code that gets ignored by the interpreter or compiler. For example, we have a print statement here. Hello. And above the print statement, we will use the single line command. In Python, single line command starts with hash symbol. Anything followed by the hash symbol will get ignored by the interpreter. For example, this is the starting of the program. If you save this file and run now, as you can see, this line. So this is how you generate a subtitle for video using the Python's whisper model.